So joining me now with more on the crypto market is Chris Klein. He's a co-founder of Bitcoin IRA. Chris, it's great to have you on the show this morning. And as we see crypto elevated at these levels, do you think the momentum can continue? Absolutely. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me today. It has been a banner year for cryptocurrency overall. Uh, and uh, we're headed into an election cycle, which is really just gasoline on top of the what I like to call the napalm of having event taking place. We're about 200 days off of that cycle in April with peaks expected around 550 days uh, post cycle having event. Interesting. Now, of course, uh, the election in key focus next week, not just for stock investors, but I'm sure for the crypto community as well. How is the community viewing the election and the potential outcome? Absolutely. Uh, well, you know, we had two of three candidates uh, come to our event in uh, Nashville this summer. Uh, so we were part of the conversation and very happy to be part of such. Uh, but also we stick to the fundamentals of our supply, demand and having events. Uh, you're going to see a lot of volatility. It's interesting. Bitcoin won't close for the weekend uh, today. Uh, it will be open and we'll probably see even more volatility across the weekend headed into Tuesday. But I think it's important to take a step back and realize that neither candidate at play for next week has a silver bullet for some of the major fundamental issues like inflation that is, is, is sticking to us, as well as our massive national debt. Mm. What do you think will be the main drivers for the price of the crypto market going forward? Uh, well, first will be the having event. We're, we're cutting the supply down through our mechanism, uh, through the cycles that we go through. So we have ETFs that have been approved and are putting billions into circulation every day. Uh, at the same time, we're cutting down the reward for creating more Bitcoin. Uh, it's a great paradigm of uh, supply demand that's ahead. A lot of technical experts are calling for $100,000 Bitcoin early next year. And some of the more bullish ones are expecting near $200,000 Bitcoin at the peak of this cycle in about April or May of next year. How much of that does, though, impact hinge on the impact of the election? We've seen both of these candidates really kind of warm up to cryptocurrency of late, of course, at the urging of some uh, mega players in the entrepreneurial space. But that plus regulators, I would imagine, uh, Chris, that that would be crucial to a sustained move higher for crypto. Absolutely. Uh, so being part of the conversation, as I mentioned, and also just a natural pro sentiment towards the reality that crypto is here. It's become mainstream uh, and it's a part of our overall, not just domestic economy, but a, at a global level in the conversations about currency happening overall overseas. Uh, so those two those two characteristics are huge as far as where we're headed into the next year. Um, but I think most folks, especially in the crypto space, we we represent retirement think thinkers. So these are long term holders or hodlers, as we like to call them, that are looking for a, a potential hedge or store of value, which is part of the why you saw Bitcoin almost reach all time highs a couple of days ago and gold setting new goals uh, or new new highs mm -hmm. this week as well. Investors are looking for that diversification play. I think you bring up a good point there that it's become more mainstream. And certainly I think that decision from the SEC earlier this year, the backing of these presidential candidates uh, has helped to that. Of course, the addition to 401ks, the fact that in your retirement account, you can now actually invest in Bitcoin uh, through well-known brokers like a Fidelity certainly has helped. But it still is a volatile market, Chris. I'm sure you would agree with me on, on that front. And so how should investors and traders navigate the volatility that they might see outsized in this space. Oh, absolutely. So uh, long term holding and, and mentality, dollar cost averaging, all the basics that you do with any other asset class that has volatility. Um, also, uh, there's remember, there's over a thousand, two thousand different cryptocurrencies at play today. Bitcoin is the banner. It's it's the big boy of the market. Uh, but there is a lot of fundamentals happening inside of Ethereum, Solana, uh, Chainlink and others. Uh, doing your homework and research and understanding these and also just in general getting off zero. I've been doing this, I feel like an old man now since uh, before 2017, back when it wasn't mainstream uh, and we weren't even talking about ETFs being in place. Uh, but people are looking for a fundamental piece of, of financial freedom when they make these choices. They're getting off of a dollar derived asset class, which we're at monetary supply levels that are growing again. Uh, and we have concerns over all of inflation and, and how far our dollar can go. Uh, so when you're thinking of cryptocurrency, day trading is is not for the weak of stomach. Uh, and most of most of our folks are looking at this as a long term hold somewhere in the three to five, maybe even seven to 10 year process. My 10 year old daughter, in fact, 
has her first thought Roth IRA a couple years ago. Uh, and the first thing she wanted to put, other than Zynga stock, because she loves uh, Tokaboka apps, was Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, for long term for her college savings. All right, Chris Klein, uh, co-founder of Bitcoin IRA. Uh, Chris, thank you so much for joining today. We'll check back in with you hopefully at another time.